Section 8.4, Constructing Angle Bisectors. Well, you remember what an angle is. An angle is very simple. An angle will have a vertex there, and it'll be made up of two rays, like this. So that is an angle right here. And when we're talking about bisectors, what we're talking about is something that splits the angle into two equal pieces. For example, if I were to just guess this line here probably splits the angle up into two equal pieces. It's kind of like that. I could split a 90 degree angle up pretty easy. So if I were to take this angle here, make this 90 degrees, half of 90 degrees is 45, so right about there. Now, probably the, one of the easiest ways to split some angles is just take your, comp or your protractor here, measure the angle, so if this angle is 90 degrees, obviously, I did that on purpose. If that one's 90 degrees, half of 90, well, or 90 divided by 2, would give me 45. So my angle, half of it, would be right there. So then all I got to do is move him out of the way, use my ruler, of course, to draw a straight line from the corner of my angle, the vertex, going through that point, and now I've just bisected my angle. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the other way to do it the way that you might be expected to do it now at this grade, and that is using your compass set here. Okay, so let's go to a nice fresh page, and let's make an angle, and we don't even know need to know how much this angle is. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to make it like this. I don't know what it is. I'm not going to take out anything to measure it. What I am going to take is my compass. So in order to measure the angle, the first thing you have to do is just simply take your compass okay, and put it right on, and I'm going to open it up a little first. There we go. Take your compass and put the sharp pointy part right on the vertex right there. So i got to be careful, make sure it's right there. Now all I'm going to do, I'm going to open up my compass just a little bit here, right there, okay, and I'm going to make one big arc going right across here like this. Okay, so I'll open them up a little bit more first. Uh, there we go. And now I'll make that one mark or arc going right across like that. Done. So, now that I've got that done, okay, I'm going to move my compass. So I've got an arc done like that. And what I've basically created is two points. I've got one right here that's intersecting the angle, and I've got another one right here. Okay. So now that I've got that done, I'm going to take my lovely compass. I'm going to put him over here just like I did. I'm going to put the point on this part where it's intersecting. So right on there. Now I'm going to make it a little bit, there we go, a little bit smaller like that. And what I'm going to do I want them to intersect here when I do it, so I'm just going to put it probably about out to here. And I'm going to draw a arc, kind of like that. Done. Okay, now I've got to be careful not to change the size of my compass now, because okay? I don't want to change my size. If I do that, it's all ruined. So what I'll do now is go to the other point where it intersects, which is right here. Lay my compass down, dig it in there on your paper, and be careful not to change the size again, because it's got to be the same. And then just make another arc going that way, and you see that they intersect it. So now all I've got to do is move him out of the way, and to find out exactly where they intersect, I've created a, another little spot right here where they intersect. So all i got to do to bisect that angle now is draw a line straight from the vertex again, or the corner of my angle, going straight through that one there like that, and there. You'll notice now this angle here is the same as this angle over here. And I can measure them in order to find out for sure. Okay? So it's fairly easy steps in order to bisect any angle. So I can do it with an angle like this if I'd like. Okay. So step one, make one big arc. So I'll put it right on the vertex there like that. 
and then I'll just simply make one great big arc that goes through both sides of my angle. So that's done. Then I'm simply going to take my compass, put it there on one spot where it intersects, open it up a little bit more like that, and then I'm going to make a, another arc up here. Take it, be careful not to change the size now, because what you do from this side you must do from the other side. I'm going to put it right on this other side here, make sure it's good, and then I'm going to draw my other arc. Once that's done, I'll move it right out of the way. And right where it intersects, right here, I'm going to draw my line going from the vertex straight through here. And now both of these angles here are exactly the same. And I've just made an angle. Uh, oops, excuse me. And I've just made an angle bisector using a compass.